name is Jada Grant. Hello, Jada. Hello, Jada. And I'll be doing a presentation on strengthening exercises after an ankle sprain. So for our learning objective for today, we'll be able to explain what an ankle sprain is and how it can be caused. Um, know the different types of treatment for an ankle sprain and learn different types of exercises to strengthen an ankle sprain. So what is an ankle sprain? An ankle sprain is an injury that can occur when you roll, twist, or turn your ankle in an awkward way. This can stretch or tear the ligament that helps hold your ankle bones together. Ligaments help stabilize joints and prevent excessive movement. A sprained ankle occurs when the ligaments are forced beyond their regular range of motion. Most sprained ankles involve injuries to the ligament on the lateral side of the ankle or the outer side of the ankle. And here is Alina. So ankle sprain recovery. It takes time for ankles to fully recover. For minor injury, it could be two weeks, and major injury could be 12 weeks. There are many ways to treat an ankle sprain. Some people might try to make the ankle heal on its own, but that's not very effective because it'll take a very long time for it to heal. So some treatments that you can do is RICE. And RICE stands for rest, ice, compression, and elevation. Some people might use anti-inflammatory medicines so they don't feel the pain anymore. Or you can use assistive devices like a crutch or braces to keep the ankle together or to not walk on the ankle. But the most effective way is therapy, either massage, stretches, and strengthening exercises. So the first strength of exercises is isometric. After the swelling has gone down in your ankle, you can start strengthening your ankle. The easiest way is isometric exercises. You do this by pushing against a fixed object with your ankle. Isometric exercises involve holding the body in position with no muscles or joint movement. They help build muscular strength and endurance. So this is a video on isometric exercises. And when I say go, Mickey's gonna try to push your foot up. Okay, ready? Yeah, there you go. So as you can see, it's contracting, but it's not moving. Where did you feel this? Exactly. Those are the muscles that you will, will basically contract to bring your foot up. Good. And then relax. Good. So you're gonna hold that for about five to ten seconds, and you want to build your way up to about five repetitions. Now we're going to plant our so pulling the foot up, and basically Mickey wants to push her foot down. So I'm gonna resist from the bottom here, stabilize the ankle once again. Yeah, and push, good. What do you feel that? More in the back. Exactly, so those are the muscles that are contracting as well. Good, and really strong, good, and relax. So once again, five to 10 seconds. Now, we're gonna go into E version. So that's bringing the foot outwards this way. So to start, we're actually gonna go in the opposite direction. We're going to stabilize the foot on the side, stabilize the ankle, and now we're going to try to push your foot up. Good. Now we're going to this. Put your ankle on the side again. Yeah, exactly. Those are the muscles you want to activate. Good. And relax. Good. So once again, five to ten seconds, building your way up to about five repetitions in each direction. So now, for the last one here, we want to bring the foot inward. So we're going to start with the foot upwards. We're going to stabilize the inside. Once again, the ankle. Maybe I'll switch my hands just so you can actually see what I'm doing. There, yep. So now you're going to push inwards. Good. What are you feeling? On the inside of the ankle, we're going to go the other direction. Exactly. Good. And relax. So just a great exercise to strengthen the ankle. Isometric exercises. Really, really good. Equalize your ankle. So the next strengthening exercise is isotonic. Isotonic strengthening occurs when a, when a fixed weight, such as a resistant band, is carried through the full range of motion from a particular joint. Isotonic exercises are dynamic movements and are significant parts for any strengthening training program. 
Since the ankle joint has four primary movements, isotonic strengthening can take place through dorsiflexion, planiflexion, inversion, and eversion. You're stuck in your position, and you're just going to push forward as far as you can, and then slowly come back as far as you can. Now the key with this is when you go down and you come back, you're slowly coming back. You don't want the band to let fly back, but you want to keep slowly going back. Start off with 10 to 15 times, and again, if that's easy, get up to 20, 25 times. And it's not hard, you're not feeling a little bit of burn, and you want to bump up your reach a little bit. So you're just going to push down and slowly come back. Now, we want to get all four directions that's that four way ankle I was talking about, but sometimes you just have nobody to hold on to your ankle. So if you have somebody who wants to help you rehab your ankle, they can just go around and teach direction, but you don't always have that luxury. Your exercise is in somebody might not be there. So to go out, what you're going to do is you're going to turn it on the inside. You're not turning on the inside, and you're going to wrap the band around your other foot. So it's going to be a motion all the way around. So now the resistance is this way, and then you're going to pull your ankle out. Now the key with this one is you don't want to pull your whole leg out. You're not exercising your leg. You're exercising your ankle. So you're really trying to just move that ankle out and slowly come back. So if you feel like you're doing this, hold your leg in place. So we let go of it. And just pull the line with your ankle out and slowly come back. Same thing, 10 to 15 times. If you get 20, 25 and it's easy, bump up that resistance. So the next way we're going to go in. The way to do that, if you don't have any help or anybody to hold on to it, you're actually going to cross your foot over and you're going to wrap it around this way. So now the knot and then the resistance is going to be coming from this direction. Now you're going to push your foot this way. So you're just going to, same thing, you want to pull at your ankle, not at your foot. And if you need a little more resistance, you can cross your leg more and pull it out. I came back just a little bit fast. Remember, you want to control it. You don't want to let the band control you. You can control the band. So you're pulling in and then slowly coming back out. I might be a little bit weak. It's trying to fight me a little bit. Now you can control 10 to 15 times. Now the last one, you're actually going to have to have a little help, a little anchor somewhere. So if you've got a sturdy table, coffee table, heavy chair, you can use that. What you're going to do is the, the treat knot is going to be on the bottom part now and if you've got something right here you can just wrap it around and then pull it this way this thing still wants to be around where the ball of your foot is and now you want to come in this direction so you're pulling your foot up this way and then slowly coming back down same thing you're controlling the band don't let the band control you 10 to 15 times 20 to 25 is too easy, bump up that resistance. And there you go, you've got a four-way ankle strengthening exercise. Oh. 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 So in conclusion, we were able to know what an ankle sprain is and how an ankle sprain happens in a person, the types of treatment for an ankle sprain and how long it takes to heal. We also learned different types of exercises that help strengthen the ankle so the healing process can happen quicker in the patient. Are there any questions? Yes. I have a good question. Yeah. So myself, I am an athlete, and um, I'm just curious, does ankle strengthening have to be done only when you're injured, or can it be done just to be done, like to strengthen your ankle? You, you can do it just for it to be done, because it's to strengthen your ankle, to prevent any injuries from happening ever again.